Welcome again to our Ringwerf workshop. Now I would like to tell you something about our research work. You know, uh, Ringwerf is working with uh, some interventions like rapid eye movement and with uh, special music which helps the brain to coordinate all the areas creatively and properly. And it's also working with the new study test, yes, where we are um, finding out by pulling the fingers of our client how the power reaction of the muscle responds to a trigger we are giving to the person. Yes. And that was the most critical point when we started with working with Ringwerf because people say, oh, the coach is pulling differently. So the coach has an intuition and wants to get a certain result. So we work together with the Sports University of Cologne to make research about this point. And they developed this funny machine for us, where the machine is pulling objectively and um, measuring how strong a person uh, is uh, when holding the fingers to build the ring. Yes. So it's an object, objective, objective measurement and I want to tell you they found out that when the coach uh, can um, pull the wing uh, and it is weak, the machine says the same thing. And when we have a strong reaction, the machine also measures the strong reaction. Scientists say there is a high correlation between humans testing and between the machines testing. But when you um, have the feeling in your fingers, you realize there is a big difference. But it's, it's much more nice that now we can tell you, um, we uh, found out that it is an objective result. Okay? What was very interesting is uh, before we were working with uh, this test and this interventions, the professor, uh, who was the professor for Marco Ratschlag, this is a psychologist who took the promotion work about Ringwave. He told him, first of all, before we are doing intervention research, we have to find out whether it's really true that different emotions uh, cause different uh, physical strengths. Yes? And now um, Marco thought, oh, this is very easy. I just go through the internet and to the uh, to the libraries, to the libraries, and there might be heaps of results that uh, it is proof that um, emotions uh, cause different reactions, yes, in the body strengths. But nobody did this investigation ever before. So we were the first one who had this question and uh, to, to, uh, who wanted to make research about it. So uh, they made a funny thing, or a nice and interesting thing. They um, uh, asked people to work with the machine and they gave them certain things to think about. Uh, they said to them, think at a situation in your life and you were very happy. Think at a situation in your life and you uh, suffered from fear or sadness or you were bored, okay? And then an interesting thing came out. Um, in your fingers, <coughs> you have the most strength when you are happy, yes? And the less strength when you are sad or when you suffer from fear. And even anger, um, makes people strong, but not so strong that you can be stronger than when you are happy. So, and this is so interesting. Um, also, without making the intervention, it's so interesting to know. Because we are working with sportsmen sometimes, and we make the test with them, and then we um, test the statement, a sport uh, can be joyful. Okay, and it's strong. But when we say a championship can make you happy, it's weak. You know why? Because they say that's serious. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> always when people want to um, to wish to have peak per to show peak performance, they say this is serious. So you can all, uh, only be happy and um, uh, have a joyful feeling in your leisure time and when you have hobbies and uh, when you're together with your family. Okay, but when you're working and when there's a championship, that's serious, no joy, please. Yes. So I think we coaches have a lot of work to work with this belief. Yes. That uh, not being happy and joyful. Uh, leads to better results and performance. This is not true what we found out. Okay, And then uh, they made an, another research which was very interesting. They said, what is this jumping? Yes, And I only can tell you because I only have this chart for you. And you also, also jump higher when you are happy. So this is um, intuitively not so surprising. You know, we only have to watch children what they're doing when you're telling them you get an ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, then they jump. Okay. And then we had uh, made other researches. That is here. Here. Um, we um, um, worked with people who suffered from fear, from the fear reaction. And we uh, did the test with the machine with them. And you can see um, they were very weak at the beginning of the coaching. And after the coaching, this is the uh, group, uh, the intervention group, the uh, strength in the finger was much uh, higher after the coaching. And they had a control group with people who had several fear problems and they get no um, intervention. And you can see that, uh, I think it was three months after the coaching, they still had the weak reaction in their uh, fingers when they were asked to think at the situation. Yes? So we used the machine also to prove whether um, you can say the strong myostatic test shows that the intervention was successful. Okay. And there was another uh, thing which was very interesting. Um, the um, scientists uh, also asked the people to think at a situation when they were very happy and they measured the strengths. Yes? Then we made the mean wave intervention and later they again asked the um, participants to think at the situation when they were very happy. And what you can see is the following. They were, the strengths grew, but we didn't uh, work with them on this theme. We only work with them on the field problem. So in general, they uh, gained more power than they went through a wing wave coaching. And for this effect, it took uh, two to three um, hours of intervention to have this effect, and it was lasting. Yes. And uh, they also had a group, we, I cannot show it here, who got another intervention. It was. Uh, muscle relaxation training um, uh, from Jacobson, and they had uh, no effects like this. Okay, so let me see if I have some other interesting things. Um, we leave the uh, theme of muscle reaction now, and we go further and tell you what we found out additionally. Um, we've also found out that Bingev can help against stress which remains after sports injuries. Yes, that is very interesting because professional sportsmen sometimes uh, suffer from injuries and the um, doctors say now the person is healthy again. The knee is healthy again or the foot is healthy again. Uh, but why does the football player play differently? Yes, in spite of being healthy now. It is because the stress is still a reaction in mind, you know. Maybe there was a contact with another football player, player and then there was an injury at the knee. It is still a memory between the ears. It's not a thing in the knee. Mm -hmm. And so when uh, a football player is playing again, he sees the, con the other team uh, coming, then he wants to go through the line, but 
um, as a reaction because he is still afraid of being injured. Again, he makes the wrong um, he makes the wrong uh, movement mm -hmm. and misses uh, the goal. Okay. So and what we found out is the following that we asked many sportsmen who suffer from this problem um, to uh, tell us how stressing the memory is when they have to remember this injury. And it was an average uh, minus uh, four to, to minus six, minus five. And after the wing lift coaching, they had a, uh, another um, feeling when they uh, remembered what happened and they came into the plus section. Okay? This is an interesting result too. Maybe I have another one. Okay. Um, later, the um, scientists said that is very interesting. Strength of the fingers and it also can show if the coaching was successful. And um, we found out that happiness makes people strong in the hands and strong when they are jumping. But what is this running? Yes. And we were very insecure what uh, results may come out when we are measuring the, um, has the uh, connection between uh, running and emotions. We thought maybe fear could be the emotion which makes people faster because it's the flee, the instinct to flee to save your life. So you have to be really, really fast when you want to save your life, okay? But it was the same result. They were faster when they were sprinting, short, um, uh, uh, strecken, short, distances. short distances, and also uh, when we coached them to feel more successful for long distances. And we did a study on a 5,000 meter running, 5,000 meter run study. And we coached uh, the, uh, all, they were all sportsmen, yes, who had to um, maintain their fitness by making 5,000 meter running. And uh, first we um, um, coached some stress they might uh, suffer from when they are running. Maybe I don't want to go outside when it's raining or something like that, yes. And, but then we um, made the wing left coaching this resource coaching. We, we say we waved in the happiness in the running pattern. This is certain intervention I cannot show now because I'm only talking about theory, but I maybe you believe me. We waved in the joy and happiness into the uh, experience of running far distances. And uh, the, right, the result was that without training, they were uh, one minute faster than the group who didn't get our coaching. And experts say that it's quite a long time for 5,000 meter running. Okay? Yes. Okay. This is the time for the wing wave group and the control group and they were much, much faster than they ran with 5,000 meters. So, we have some other researches about uh, spider phobia, only one um, hour of intervention with very good results which lasts, which lasts more than nine months. That was the longest catamasis we uh, uh, we are asking about people after nine months, is the result still okay? So we have a lot of researchers which um, um, say that the wing wave coaching is effective. And what is really interesting, all our researchers are based on studies where uh, the programs, uh, the um, participants of the uh, studies got between one and two hours of intervention. Okay, maybe this was interesting for you and uh, makes you um, as heißt, neugierig, curious. curious, curious about learning more about Green Wave. Thank you. <laughs>